All right, my name is Tyson. I'm a fourth year PhD student in chemistry at Yale University. And yeah, I'm probably the freshest professor you ever have. <laughs> Random question, any of you dating right now? We all know relationships can be a little complicated, but luckily for you guys, in addition to being a random graduate student who thinks he can make it on YouTube, I'm also a grade day relationship guru. I'm kind of like a jack of all trades, really, you know? No, really though, I have some dating advice for you guys. And I know your mom probably told you not to take random dating advice from guys on YouTube, but you see, this is different because this isn't just any dating advice. This is scientific dating advice. And I guess I'm not quite sure why that makes it any different but that aside, this is dating advice that's based on chemically validated principles and is by extension, experimentally verifiable, hopefully. And so by the end of this video, you should be able to scientifically determine whether you should be single or in a relationship at this point in your life. But first I have to introduce a little bit of underlying chemistry. So let's check it out. So let's start off by defining a few learning objectives that we can use to guide our conversation. Our first objective today is going to be to understand the concepts of entropy and enthalpy are two keywords to contrast the effects of these two properties on bonding. And then finally to apply these ideas to figure out what your current relationship status should be. All right. And so this is Adam, the Adam. Adam, like many of the scientists who study him is very, very single. Okay. What this means is that Adam can orient himself in as many ways as he likes. He can vibrate, he can rotate, he can be over here or he can be over there. This effectively unlimited freedom helps Adam to maximize what's known as entropy. Entropy is good. And so when Adam has a lot of freedom, Adam has a lot of entropy and this entropy makes Adam happy. There we go. And so Adam being single can exist in a variety of ways, which gives him a lot of entropy and entropy is great. The caveat is that sometimes Adam gets lonely. Adams are like Akon, they have nobody. All right. And since atoms like Adam are typically unstable by themselves, they often join together with other atoms, such as Addy here. Hey, yo, baby, I noticed you noticing me, and uh, I just wanted to put you on notice that I noticed you also. And, and I just wanted to let you know that I would consider letting you be with me. All right, fine. And thus, Adam and Addy form a bond. This leads to the formation of a molecule basically a chemical couple. It's Facebook official. Forming bonds helps with enthalpy, which is the stabilization we get from bonding. And it's also our second term. Enthalpy like entropy is good. We can think of enthalpy as how strong the bond is between two parties. The stronger the bond, the better it is for enthalpy. All right, so quick recap. Enthalpy is max when things are together and bonding tightly. Entropy is max when things are separate and free to act independently. So far, so good, uh, I think. But every good story needs a conflict, right? If the conflict is not good, the story is not good. Yeah, I'm looking at you every DC movie ever. All right, so here's our conflict. Even though all this tight bonding is really good for enthalpy, you can probably already imagine that it's not so great for entropy. So in order for this molecule to be a power couple, the bond has to be strong enough to accommodate for the loss in entropy that occurred when we brought them together. If the enthalpy information is not satisfying enough, this molecule is gonna pop apart. Sound familiar? This is pretty similar to dating in real life. You see, the enthalpy and entropy of a relationship can create conflict. A relationship has to be built on a strong enough foundation to accommodate for the entropy loss. For example, I know that some of the homies are watching this right now like, yo, shorty is bugging right now, bro. Like, yo, I swear, this bond is taking off all of my entropy, yo. And some of the other homies are watching this like, nah, bro, I'm telling you, the enthalpy between me and her is so strong, can't nothing break us apart, bro. Like, all right, so here's the dating advice. Think for a second about yourself, your needs, and where you are in your life right now. For example, ladies, maybe you need all of your entropy intact so that you can focus on work or school without dude hitting you up around the clock trying to figure out where you are. Or maybe you're just a whole freak and you just want to be a freak. That's cool too. Either way, you're not really looking for that 
enthalpy right now in your life. On the other hand, there may be some of you watching this video right now who are ready to maximize enthalpy and form a lifelong bond with somebody. This is where all the ladies look at their man like, um, where is my enthalpy, sir? Hey, the moral of the story is that when you're starting a relationship with someone, it's important to sit down and discuss the balance of enthalpy and entropy that's going to work best for you two as a pair. Because if you don't have this balance, you may find yourself in a relationship that's not thermodynamically favorable. And then, if you're in a relationship right now and you're happy with that relationship, I want you to stop what you're doing, like and subscribe, and then text your partner this exact phrase. Our enthalpy is bomb, baby. And I want to bond with you for the rest of my life on some 90s R&B type. And when they ask you what the F orbital you're talking about, you can send them this video. Or if you're planning to break up with someone soon, I want you to hit them with this. Hey, yo, come here real quick. All right, so this bond ain't it. And I'm finna cut you off and maximize my entropy. See ya. And then make sure to let them know. Hey, yo, by the way, subscribe to my man Fresh Professor on YouTube. I said, I don't go to jail. I go to Yale, multiple degrees, what that mean, woman's hell. Young black king, I'm about that thing like Lauren Hill. Yo, the swag is Will Smith, my resume like Uncle Phil, no. My style is polished, I'm fly as a pilot. I'm